Hey y'all, it's your girl Brittany. I'm back. I'm better with another video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, like the video, click the bell to be notified of every time I post because y'all know what it is. Y'all know I post frequently. All right, y'all, y'all already know we doing, we jumping, we skipping, we hopping, we leaping, we doing our Dougie, our Dougie Dougie into this video. Click the link down in the description box below to become a member on my Patreon. Yeah. Go over there. All right, y'all. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So, baby, we are on part three of Baddies Caribbean. Let's hit a baddie, baddie, water o'clock. Because they have taken too many shots for me, baby. Let's get a little water in our system. So, we start off where we left off, which I'm so excited. A biggie getting bop, bop, bopped around. Okay, yeah. Needed that. J.O. get her. She talked too much. Quack her out. So, J.O. gets Biggie. Biggie is over here giving this monologue, okay? Like, she just won an award. She keep calling Heaven name. What is Heaven supposed to do? Even if Heaven did know or not, like, and so, what? Nobody cares. And J.O. really ain't have much to say. And I'm like, saucy, fight, fight. Y'all talking too much, fight. <laughs> Literally, that's me because I'm like, girl, why are you still talking? Get in the field. Shut up. Get in the field. You want a moment and she got it off you. Now you're the content. So, and what? Like, get in the field or shut up. But obviously, you're not going to get in the field. And I'm with Saucy. If somebody's still off on me like that, yeah, it's on. Like, girl, you grown. You grown. If somebody's still off on you, you, you best to go get your lick back. But we know Biggie's scary. Tommy over here trying to give this whole confidence speech. Girl, we doing this, we doing... Girl, hush, this is the same person who just backstabbed you not too long ago. Like, girl, go sit down. I would be chilling. I would be saying, Rolly, go help your friend. Y'all love each other so much. Go help your homegirl. <laughs> girl, she would have got nothing from me. Like, legit, nothing. Okay? So, boom, we end up moving on. Because at this point, Biggie just talking and... No, nobody cares. Now, I do agree with Biggie about Wonderland. Like, why are you here? What, what's the storyline? What's it giving? Nothing. They should have just kept you at home. So, Tommy is doing the absolute most. Literally the most. So, Rowley decides to take it upon herself to go calm Tommy down. Because she's sick of her. She's sick of the girl. So, they get defined. It, it wasn't much or nothing. They broke it up so quick. And she was taken up for security. And here go Big Ant. I need you to stay over here. I'm taking up for you. What you mean you need me to stay over here? I'm trying to help you out. And I agree with Saucy. Like, you going all in the crowd. And you continuously giving her the clout in the moment that you didn't want to give her. Because you just really don't want to get that fade in. Because you know you're going to lose. And you know JL's going to take you through there. But you getting in the crowd. You talking about, oh, I'm with the crowd. I'm with the fans. Because this is a $300 face beat. What does that have to do with her slapping the dog out of you? Nothing. It has nothing to do with anything. She slapped you. She got there. She bow, bow, got in there with you. You and well she bowed got in there with you and you scared and that's why you went in the crowd so she couldn't get you again you keeping your head on a swivel but you mad and you scared and you trying to come at saucy like no you are giving her the moment that you swore but now you weren't gonna give her because you keep egging it on you're mad you're pressed and it really like it really got you tight but you won't go over there and get your leak back so you're not that pressed you're not that tight, but you want to keep talking about it. And, girl, we have much more to get to than you getting slapped. And what do you mean J.O. is a nobody? Like, girl, you be forgetting they do not like you like that. Like, let's be honest. You are here for sympathy and payola. Don't nobody really be saying you like that. For real, for real. We just being honest. You don't make or break a show. You very in and out here nor there when it really comes to it. You have your moments here and there. But, girl, ain't nobody truly looking for you. Like, let's be clear. Tommy is acting like the wild animal that she portrays herself to be. It's no way I would have had the type of patience that this crew has. The crew, y'all are doing an amazing job by keeping y'all jobs because dealing with stuff like this, I just could not. I would have I would have said, Rolly, come come on, Rolly. Rolly, go and get her that. I would have moved out the way and let Rolly go and take her through because what she needs is a shutdown, okay? What she needs is a, a calm down real quick. She needs a chill pill. It, it could be no way that she could have been hitting my security, spending on them. 
all that. When she told that lady, some, don't touch me, girl. We would just had to go and get that right there. We had we would have had to go and get that in the bag. We would have had to get that. I would have had to go and calm you down because we talked to you. girl. I don't want to touch you. Not in the day that came through here. Do I want to really put my hands on you? I really don't even want to be bothered with you. Like we just being honest, but I'm doing my job, girl. Don't nobody want to touch you. Yeah, I wouldn't even be putting my people through that. Like honestly, what people had to go through to get their check is crazy. She spit dead in that man's face. Like, girl, ain't no way. You was acting like the animal that you portray yourself to be and every time you get on Zeus you be acting like you ain't got no decorum and if I was them I just wouldn't continuously tolerate that but you acting like that I'm not finna deal with that every time you come on you good TV but when you start doing stuff like this that's when I gotta put you in your place and let you know that the show will go on without you I'm not dealing with that one thing y'all gonna get on my nerves with is trying to bring up people's test results that is gonna get on my nerves every time what you didn't have to do was bring up Bobby's test results. You didn't have to do that. Even if it's true or not, y'all y'all take me to another place of irritation when y'all do that. Because I, I personally, I feel like that is such a weak roast. Like, y'all, you could have came for his old face. And honestly, and I see what Bobby's saying. Like, as soon as he came over there, he's trying to help you. And he's trying to give you your purse and stuff. You're going to go crazy on him. And like he said, he ain't scared of you. He ain't seen you belligerent like this before. So he like, I ain't scared of you, girl. Da, da, da. But I just I just can't keep getting, being bothered with you. Like, this is very annoying. I just wouldn't want to deal with you. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have you back on my show until you was able to clean yourself up. I'm just not tolerating anything. Yes, they give y'all drinks and stuff like that, but y'all still should be able to be professional. And I'm going to say this too, Natalie, why do you keep coddling Tommy? For somebody that you wanted to come on camera and apologize to your husband and your child, you surely are calling her. And then who is Tommy co-signer? You were being messy the whole time. What you need to be doing is getting Tommy up out of here. Instead of you trying to co-sign and tell Bobby where he went wrong, where well, you going wrong is not getting your friend up out of here because your friend is doing a lot. That's what you need to be doing since you want to be bodyguard so bad. You need to be getting your friend and going to the exit. Tommy then goes for some more of the um, of the crew. She is trying to belittle them to my, look how much you and lived and this is what you got to show for your life. Some That irritates me too. You cannot judge people by what they work, baby. The economy is not economy. And look, Tommy, you are in the same position as them. You have to come on, quote, unquote, a ratchet TV network to even get you some type of money and relevancy. Because honestly, I don't, I don't necessarily know if love and hip hop will take you back. I'm sure they will. But look at where you got your start from. Like, you got your start off a ratchet TV platform, too. So... The pot can't be calling the kettle black. If these people didn't have these lights, if they weren't working these cameras, you would be out of a job. So I don't, I don't really like that. I don't really fool with that. So we move back into the um into the building and chaotic. Tinka and Meat Man is going back and forth. I, I could care less. Crumble cookie. I don't care. Um, I don't even understand why y'all doing what y'all doing. No one cares. Yeah, I like J.O. So, J.O. ends up letting it be known why she smacked Biggie. And her points are very much valid. Biggie love to jump and stuff that ain't got nothing to do with her. But as soon as somebody put their hands on her, it's a, oh, it's me. I didn't do anything. Don't try to bother me. I'm such a good person. We're wearing Balenciaga. You have a Michael Kors. Like, yeah, you need to get smacked. Like, Period. Point and blank. I'm with J.O. a hundred thousand percent. Like, swear. Any if if <sighs> y'all know I cannot stand Biggie. I hate her with a passion. I hate her. I can't stand her. So whatever J.O. did, J.O. could have said, "Oh, I just wanted to." I would have agreed. Saying Diamond is in the ambulance is crazy. Don't get me wrong. I do believe Diamond got work, but from what we seen. It did not give that to Siki D all day. Like, it gave Diamond had put a little makeup on or something. It was like, look, let's get it real bad. Because it just didn't seem like Siki had did all that did all that damage. But she did. Obviously, you know, she did. I'm, I don't know. Because for what we've seen, it's not giving it. What From what we've seen, it didn't give that Diamond should have been tore up that bad. 
I don't know. I don't know. It just didn't look that bad, but she right. I mean, the ambulance thing is crazy to hear her say it out loud because we seen the fight. But in actuality, Diamond did go to the hospital. So Biggie is doing a lot of nothing because she really don't want to get down. She don't want to get in the pain. But I'm not surprised. But I know one thing, the next time you get in somebody's way or you try to sneak somebody, I'm going to call it out because you be quick to sneak. You be quick to slide a hit in. And you pick and choose who you want to get in that paint with. But, you know, this is show what it is. And she, I ain't never been to jail. Who said that you had to go to jail? Did nobody say that you had to go to jail for you to get in the paint and stand up for yourself? Nobody say that. But you you be running your mouth and you do put yourself, you do put yourself in positions to get clocked. And you do like to sneak. And you you do like to be a mean girl. But as soon as somebody be a mean girl back to you, you don't like that. You ain't like that one, did y'all? I don't like you. So I'm going to move on. Why is all these people want Dia? <laughs> oh, my God. There's three people need that from Dia. Dang, what did Dia do? <laughs> but honestly, I don't care. I'm not here for it. I could care less. It's not that serious to me about Dia and whatever problem she got going on. They didn't even announce Dia to come out. So I don't care. I could care less about have um Heavenly J O and the other one. Cause I to be honest, like they said, we won't see them again. So really ain't no point of me being me investing my time because I don't care. Kiva, you really don't want <laughs> it. She keep asking you, do you want to find you? You keep telling her to back up. Y'all literally talked as soon as y'all came out there. You, she keep asking you, do you want to fight? Do you want to fight? Do you want to fight? You're not answering that question. You really don't want to fight, Kiva. You don't. You don't want to fight the Siki. And it's okay. Nobody does. Nobody wants to fight the Hulk. Nobody wants her to power up on them. Like, nobody does. You don't want to be like DTP. So, I think that's a key because she kept asking you, do you want to fight? And you never answered the question. You like, you don't mess with me. You don't mess with me. Back up, back up. You ain't tell her to back up when y'all was talking in the corner. And obviously, from you ignoring the question, she know that you don't want to fight. I don't know what Emily and Dia got going on, but let's cut it out. What was that? <laughs> At some point, Dia started winning. I <laughs> I said, deal, man, baby. Don't talk about that brother. I know that's right. Don't talk about her brother. But I don't know what they had going on. That was just a waste of time, to be honest. It was definitely a waste of time, but it was a good key. I hate when somebody be like, I got people in the streets. You don't want to mess with me. I, I really like that. I got people who got my... No, you don't. Ain't nobody finna go to jail for you, okay? Maybe like your mama, your daddy. Maybe. But people who actually love the, the free world, they're not going to jail behind you, Buki. And some stupid reality TV show stuff, baby, let it go. It's all good. So the real drama finally comes. Finally. Like, dang, I was getting so bored. Finally. So E.T. comes, as we know, she flip, hit the water. <laughs> Drop the bag. Bam. Like, ooh, hate that for your bag. So... She just drops like a hot potato. Roly definitely took advantage and gave her at least like three good hits to the face. Mm, 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 you know, EZ was trying her best to like cover her face, but it just wasn't working. Even both of the securities fell too. Poor bags. Like, oh my gosh. The bags, the massages we all need after this. So, boom. Roly then starts making this speech. She like, you know, she love ET. She want to be cool with ET. All this, all that. E.T. knows she wrong, and that's why E.T. want to fight her, which I believe the same. E.T. made some bad choices, and truly, she just wants to stay on Zeus. She needs that storyline, so I agree with Roly. Like, E.T. see that she made a mistake, and she want to blame it on somebody other than herself, so she want to keep fighting Roly. But Roly is not to blame for actions you took. She's not to blame for that. So, E.T. like, no, we finna fight one more time. So, they get to fight again. But I definitely understood where Roly was coming from. Like, but to Roly, you know, she need to get the head up. Like, she failed. So, she does feel as though she came here to redeem herself. So, I definitely understand that. But I definitely understand where Roly is coming from. Roly want to be back cool. Roly is like, you know, I was supporting you. I was being a good friend of you. 
And and I can understand Roly's feelings is hurt behind this. Now, Roly lost me too when she brought Tasiki in it, and then when she started just saying like, "You're broke. You're gonna stay broke. You're stuck. You're gonna stay stuck." I get that you're upset, but literally 30 seconds ago, you was just saying that you loved her and that you wanted to be friends with her. Now she's stuck. Now she's scary. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't really want to be cool with you either. Like, come on now. It's just... I don't like how she flipped on her that quick. You want to call her broke. You want to say her bank account is in the negative. And... You just dogging out somebody that you swore you love. But I see you felt whatever hit that she did land on you in that eye because you keep rubbing that eye. And like Tasiki said, that ain't got nothing to do with her. And to be honest, like, from what I remember, E.T. E. tried. Like, yes, Tasiki took her through there, but she did try. She, she did try. And let's be clear, she might not can't get down with Tasiki. But a lot of y'all, she can get down with. A lot of y'all, her skills overpower y'all. So let's just be very clear. And Roly, let's be clear. E.T. definitely can overpower you. That's why you didn't want to go that other round. But you talking crazy and, you know, you saying everything you saying is not giving somebody who wants their friend back. And baby, when Mariah came back, I was like, who is this? <laughs> Then when they flipped it to Dia and that wig, oh my God. <laughs> I wasn't running. I was not ready. I was like, what is going on here? Did everybody switch wigs? Like, what? I thought she had on a Dorothy Explorer wig too, just without the bang. But I guess not. Meat Man throwing that chair so hard and so quick like that. If I was on her, we would have had to get that. We would have had to get that. That chair hit me. And the way E.T. threw the chair back, like, good move. <laughs> it's hilarious. But, yeah, I would have had to get that either with Tinker or me because the chair hit me. Like, no. That thick that thick chair hit me? Oh, we're going to have to get that. We're, who want to run that? Because, girl, like, you tripping, not the chair. But as we know, Meat Man love her good old weapons. So, I'm not surprised. Get out of here with that two moon wig, 304. <laughs> Now get out of here with that team away. <laughs> you ain't have to say all that. <laughs> now get out of here with that team away. So Rolly and Ichi go for another round. It just gave, they was hitting each other chest area. It was no face shots look like to me. Um, Rolly need to get her a better bunny. That bunny was so loose. Every time I see the bunny, the bunny is over her face. Like, we need to get a better bunny. <laughs> Tinker. Tinker doing the jerk is crazy. <laughs> Why they want to carry me? Y'all, what I do? I ain't doing that. Tika gonna do is get on my nerves. Girl, exit the stage. We are tired of you and me, man. Now you wanna carry me. Yeah, what I do? I ain't doing that. Girl, go sit down. Please. Please. <laughs> the jerk is crazy. The jerk is crazy. That's insane. <laughs> Did she go into <laughs> You know you doing this on purpose. Bye bye. The dance break is crazy. The dance break is insane. This is the most entertaining part of the part three. Is the dance break legit? Cause girl, not that you know you're doing this on purpose, baby. Like, <laughs> go home right now, please. Go get that car. Take her home. Biggie, you here to make people laugh and dance? You ain't said a joke yet. I cackled that. And what dance moves have you bust out in, girl? Please go home. I can't wait till they go and replace you. I'm for real. I'm for real, for real, for. I can't want. I cannot wait till they replace you. 
You are annoying. What's a key is that the cast is not even paying her no type of attention. The cast is very much so up there having their own conversations, not even thinking about you, Big Back. Nobody's even looking for you. Nobody has yet to say, where is Biggie? Nobody. Because they don't care. You see how the show is moving forward without you? Nobody's stunned you. Like, they knew they was wrapping up and they needed a little more. But once you went back over there in the crowd and started talking and talking about, oh, I'm here for laughs and giggles. Girl, them folks up there doing whatever they doing. Not stunning you. Not saying. Ain't nobody said yet. Biggie, come back. Biggie, stop playing. I ain't seen nobody walk over there to check on you. Nothing. Nada. The only, the only people that's telling you to come on and go on about your business is production. Me, man, you said y'all beef was so small, y'all could have hooked it out. You talked about that girl daughter. That's not a small beef. You talked about her daughter, her child, somebody that she's birthed, that she birthed. What do you mean y'all could have hooked it out? She said something about the mama, too. You said something about the mama. Girl, y'all was not hugging that out. And Tink would have been a fool to allow you to be back cool her after you and talked about all her people, especially a child. No, that one small and that one in the hug out. I like the Janisha's and Saucy talking after everybody left. I really rocked with that. I liked them. It was just them two talking. It very much gave homegirls. It gave very much, you know, yes, girl, let's gag by these girls. Cause what do you think? But I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I feel like part one and part two was way better than part three. Part three was here or there. But part one and part two, the girls was really giving. I feel as though I was fed. I was full. But part three, I'm still a little bit empty. Um, He gave, you know, chewing on some crackers type time. Um, But overall, it was a good reunion. It was great. It was cool. Um, If I had to... Say which reunion I liked it better. I liked it the last reunion better. I feel as though like this reunion, the girls was getting in there, but to me, it was a lot of talking. Like Saucy said, get in the field. Tommy got on my nerves the whole time, the whole way through. Tommy got on my nerves. Natalie got on my nerves. All that playing like she gonna do something, then really, you know, it's not about it. Tommy just under the influence, super duper drunk, got on my nerves. Um who else? Biggie, of course, got on my nerves. But everybody else, they was cool. Um, Everybody else did what needs to be done. Everybody stood on business, and I'm here for that. So I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Y'all know we're going live tonight, so I better see y'all in the live. 7 p.m. Bye.